How's it going, everyone? This is your Astrology Horoscope for Tuesday, August 13th, 2024. I'm astrologer Alex Skiles, and welcome to the Moonbase. Hope you guys are doing great. It's good to be here with all of you, as usual. So this moon coming out of Scorpio, coming into Sag, I think is definitely lifting up the energy. And this moon in Scorpio, as it's leaving, is leaving on a positive note, which is very nice. So... Overnight, as we're waking up here, this moon in Scorpio is going to try Neptune. So, you know, really pay attention to those dreams. There can be a very um, uh, insightful message or download that can come through spiritually, you know, and even that can awaken that more unconscious space, too. It's like the subconscious and the unconscious are kind of interacting in these more... Um, spiritual Scorpio Pisces eighth twelfth house realms. So and there's there's a positive flow that's coming in, and definitely too when when this moon comes into Sag, the energy's gonna lift, but there's still some things we gotta look at. So with this moon, um, as much as we want to have fun, right? There's there's still work to be done here. Okay, this moon in Sag really wants to party. It really just is like, hey, sun in Leo, moon in Sag, let's fucking go, right? So the moon in Sag making this square to Mercury retrograde in Virgo. Mercury's like, hey, hold on a minute. You know, you left a, you left a mess. Before you leave, you should really clean up your mess, right? Or, hey, by the way, you know, you, you peed on the toilet seat, you know. It's like, oh, come on, you know, you're in a hurry. It's just like there, there are still things. If we, if we, if we want to get out and have fun and loosen up a bit, like we definitely want to make sure that we're taking care of the things within our environment and our basic needs and our basic, you know, the basic shit, you know, and getting the work done before the play, being responsible, like in that regard, and that that is a big test and a big challenge that's coming through here too with Venus. Um, as it's getting closer to opposing Saturn here. So this is definitely going to test relationships. And of course, with this moon and Sag too, which will eventually square Saturn, it's like, man, like we need to loosen up a bit with some of this Virgo energy and Mercury retrograde um, in Virgo before it moves back into Leo. It's like this moon really wants to loosen up uh, from this very rigid, you know, but organized Virgo energy that's coming through. So, you know, I think if we can really put things in order and really focus our energy and not let our energy scatter or let our minds scatter or let the chatter kind of go all over the place or, you know, overthink things or fall into, you know, getting paranoid about things for no reason at all, you know, or getting in heated arguments about beliefs. And, of course, with the moon and suns, it's like wants to express its beliefs, you know, passionately and, you know, from a very passionate emotional space. And this Mercury and Virgo is trying to keep it real, you know. Like, let's just be real before we actually, you know, take a fucking journey. Let's let's make sure we actually pack the right things before we venture out on this journey. Let's not forget anything. Let's double check. You know, let's be extra cautious while driving on the roads, right? And this Mars Jupiter is getting closer together, and it's really cool. You can see it at night. Um, if you're out later in the early mornings, uh, you can see it. It's pretty, pretty cool. And of course, with Mars in the night, I, I was just um, one of my clients just left, and since Mars has been more visible at night and getting closer to Jupiter, like I've been staying up later and working later than I ever do. I'm not like a late night person you know but with mars out at nighttime it's like that energy to just get shit done and with jupiter it's like you know this is the this is the night owl energy coming through you know and you can get a lot of good shit done if you're gonna do things late or overnight you know mars is really charged up at nighttime which is you know kind of interesting in a, in a way if uh if you are a night owl you know most people it's like 
got to get up early and you know whatever but there there is this this pulsing energy and i felt it um when mars conjunct uranus it's like i didn't get a lot of sleep and that energy's kind of carried over you know it's stabilized <laughs> of course but there's a lot of power and a lot of um forward movement with this mars jupiter conjunction that's building here and it's been slow it's been pretty slow so and the moon will come around um and oppose this mars jupiter so of course and, and not today by tomorrow it, it will make an opposition this moon this moon will try in the north node too so of course with this moon in leo or the sun in leo the moon in sag the north node in aries there's a lot of fire mercury is about to retrograde back into leo here so you know there's 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 some fire here and a, there's, there's mars and jupiter now at 16 degrees um with this exact conjunction as we go into tomorrow so it's 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 like this mars and jupiter of course this north node mars dispositing the north node i think with what this mars jupiter is really going to be expanding and how we're going to be really pushing forward and really making shit happen. Like, this is a destined, faded moment, of course, with Mars and the North Node here um, with Jupiter. And this moon in Sag today, this is the, you know, Jupiter ruling Sag. So there definitely can be some faded luck coming through or some faded, like, wow, I can't believe I got through that, you know, or, you know, something very faded and positive as well but definitely some positive things that can expand can come through having to make harsh decisions and having to really be harsh and more critical of course this mercury retrograde in virgo and you know making critical decisions um and of, of course this mars jupiter that's going to conjunct here um and when the moon opposes which i think will happen tomorrow um uh, exact yeah it will so we'll go more into that tomorrow but you know when them did a lot of information i feel like this week next week in our personal lives and definitely in the world there's there can be some information that's going to surface and i will say too i think um in a reading today we talked a lot about uh the venus retrograde last year and mercury coming back to those degrees so things from that space is going to start popping up. And I think we talked about that a little bit, but it's like, you know, a lot of rethinking, a lot of redoing, people re-entering your life. It's just, you know, um, remodeling, reshaping, recreating with Leo, Mercury coming, you know. Of course, with Mercury retrograde in Virgo, it's more about redoing or, you know, reorganizing or... Um, yeah, you know, so there's a there's a lot of that going on. And we got the magician reversed. So I think too, it's like sometimes when you keep that magic inside and you're not willing to exude the magic, it you know, it has no place to go. I think this magic had needs some place to go and this moon Neptune shrine that we're coming into this this morning there's there's more positive uplifting energy that we've had in a minute. It's been quite heavy, and of course Venus getting ready to oppose Saturn. There's a lot more density in the air, especially in relationships. But it's like not being afraid to to show it, not being afraid to show the magic. You know, with the magician card reverse, it's like oh, it's like I don't know if I should fully show who I am. I, I really am not sure. I'm not comfortable. I'm not confident. I think that is a big thing with this Mercury retrograde in Leo. It's like having that confidence, you know. Some people with Mercury retrograde Leo in their birth chart, it's like trying to gain traction, gain wheels to be able to, to speak confidently, right? So I think that's a big thing coming up and you don't want to hide that magic or keep it inside where it's no good for anybody else who it could be good for. So, yeah. And then, of course, tomorrow is the big Mars-Jupiter day. So I'll keep it at that. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, say what's up, ask questions, 
all that good stuff. And check out all my social media, my booking website if you want to book a reading with me. Uh, all the links are in the description of this video. So have a wonderful Tuesday, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.